So this past growing season, I grew over 100 pounds of peppers in my vertical garden. I have the green stock bundle and that is four vertical gardens and they come with the little rollers that are on the bottom and these were provided to me by green stock so that i could grow some things in them and share them with you and in this video um, i will share with you the different ways that i use peppers i love to grow them i think they're super easy to store if you grow a lot of them and also they are extremely nutritious there are very few ways you can get a really good pop of vitamin c if you don't live in an area where you can grow your own citrus trees so i recommend growing peppers especially the sweet bells like the yellow and the reds you will find that they are easy to freeze or to just use right away in your kitchen uh, in soups and stews and I'll just show you some of the different ways that I've used them. Now I'll also encourage you to try to grow hot peppers if you're not already growing them. When you start to introduce just a little bit of heat into your diet you will find that there are a lot of benefits from consuming capsaicin which is what is in hot peppers that your body will find beneficial and you will find that your tolerance will be fine if you just eat them on a regular basis you'll be able to start consuming more and more hot peppers so I'll show you some different ways that I've used those over the years as well so one thing I love about growing peppers is they are very easy to preserve and I like to freeze them for instance here are just some bell peppers but I also do this with jalapeno peppers and I'll just chop them up put them on a cookie sheet on some parchment paper pop them in the freezer and they'll be nice and loose in my bag when I go to store them in the freezer so I always use freezer bags just to help prevent against freezer burn and then I can just drop these in various dishes right out of the bag throughout the winter. Some peppers, I like to blanch them first. That means I'll just pop them in some hot water for about one minute or maybe two, depending on the size of the pepper and the thickness of the flesh. And then we'll put them in ice water and that will stop them from cooking. Blanching your peppers before you freeze them will help protect the texture and keep them from becoming mushy after you've thawed them from the freezer. I don't always take this extra step unless I just have some specialty peppers such as you see here. These are just some Italian frying peppers. I also like to do this whenever I have peppers that I want to use for stuffing later in the winter. You really want your stuffing peppers to hold up. A lot of times I will slice my peppers lengthwise and make little stuffed pepper boats instead of having them upright but it's up to you so um, just like I said they're easy to preserve one of my favorite ways to do it is by freezing now a lot of these recipes I'm going to show you are on my channel so take a look over there I also have some playlists if you go to my channel click on that playlist button and then you will see um, different playlists for how I like to use peppers so another really easy way to preserve my pepper harvest is to make hot sauce and that's a lot of fun especially if you're growing hot peppers and you've got all different colors here I'm making just some yellow hot sauce I think I threw together some apple in there along with some ginger some turmeric just different things like that and of course garlic um, and it just turned out so good so I used yellow cayenne peppers for that and you can always just be creative and make different types of hot sauce a lot of times when I make hot sauce though I do like to cook it outdoors because it can really uh, bother the people in your house if you have that hot pepper just simmering away to bring all your flavors together and as I mentioned, I have a lot of these recipes on my channel. So you can just get you some hot sauce bottles off of Amazon. And then with some of the paste that's left over from making the hot sauce, you can just pop that in a mason jar. And that is great just to throw into some rice and beans or something like that. Another condiment that I like to make is Thai sweet chili sauce. And in this, I'll use a little bit of orange and then of course ginger, shallots, some garlic, my Thai red peppers with some rice vinegar, some sugar and salt. And that is really, really delicious. I use that in so many different dishes. 
It's really easy to make and all you have to do is grow the peppers. And then of course there's harissa paste and this I'll use various different peppers. I've grown um, some of these North African peppers in my garden and you'll use an assortment of spices along with some lemon, maybe some saffron if you have it, garlic and just various other things. And of course this paste is just really good if you take that extra step and blister your peppers over the a fire. It just really intensifies that wonderful roasted pepper flavor. So for this paste, you'll remove those seeds and then add your ground spices to it along with the other ingredients, a little bit of oil, and there you have it. It's ready to go for some wonderful dishes. And then a Peruvian green sauce is great with your jalapeno peppers that you're growing along with some cilantro perhaps that you might have in the garden as well. It is so good with some smoked chicken. It is just wonderful. And then you can make an Asian chili oil. This is done by infusing oil with different things such as star anise, lemongrass, cinnamon sticks, and then you'll pour that over some pepper powder and top it with some toasted sesame seeds. And this is great, just drizzled on a salad, or I like to put it on some baked salmon. Really nice condiment to have. So another easy way to preserve your pepper harvest is to make powders, flakes, and of course pickles. One of my favorite things to make every year is fermented jalapeno peppers and I use a special blend of seasonings that gives it a great flavor and of course they're great for your digestive system. And then there's smoked paprika. You can take some of your favorite peppers and make your own blend. You'll smoke those peppers. After we smoke them, I like to dehydrate them and get out any excess moisture and they'll be nice and crunchy after they've come out of the dehydrator. And now we can grind them up. I like to break up any kind of chunks and we'll strain it. And you put that powder in some of your favorite spice jars along with a label and you'll have those in your spice cabinet. You can enjoy those all winter long. And then this is a really tasty pepper that I like to grow called the Aleppo pepper. And I don't grind that to a powder. I just leave them as flakes. And I can use these in just about anything. I love it in pasta and in soups. Just gives it that little extra flavor. Now everybody's favorite pepper has got to be the jalapeno pepper. So it's always fun to make different things with your fresh picked peppers from the garden. And pico de gallo is really delicious when it's fresh made and I put a lot of those jalapeno peppers in there. Now remember a lot of jalapeno peppers have different levels of heat so if you don't like jalapeno peppers because you think they might be too hot try some different varieties because the heat in a jalapeno can range from about 5,000 Scoville heat units up to almost 15. So be careful the kind you're growing. You may actually find you really love the more mild kind and that'll be a great introduction for your body to get used to eating some of the hot peppers. A super easy way also to enjoy your peppers, the sweet bell peppers at least, is by grilling them and tossing them with some other summer vegetables such as zucchini and onion um, and just tossing them in a nice vinaigrette, maybe with some lemon and thyme. Grilling just really brings out such a wonderful flavor. I, if you're not grilling over charcoal or even if you just have a gas grill, get out there and start grilling those summer vegetables because it's so much healthier to prepare your vegetables that way. I particularly love to roast peppers. I'll roast those in my oven. I have a whole video on that. They're really good in this smoked mozzarella pasta salad. Um, also in just some rice and beans, one of my favorite things to make and it's just so easy. Rice and beans are always wonderful with peppers. So if you have a big harvest of some red bells or some of those yellow bells, pop them into some rice and beans with some onion and some cumin and some garlic and just wonderful. And probably my favorite soup is 
this one that I use sweet peppers in with some kale. I'll put some fennel seed in there with potatoes and some Italian sausage. And it is just so wonderful, especially there in the middle of the winter. Pull those peppers out of the freezer and in they go. Let's don't forget about eggs. Um, frittatas are great and especially if you have those peppers you can use a little bit of heat in there if you want um, but I typically will put a lot of the roasted red peppers in there and they're just delicious black eyed pea cakes um, this is not something I make a lot but they were really good with some of my green bells sometimes I just want to find some way to clean out the pantry I pulled out a couple of cans I think I used cans for this recipe canned black eyed peas and then I topped them with some chow chow and they were really good one of my other favorite southern dishes to make is boiled peanuts oh my goodness now I I'm always throwing in my hot peppers into my brine that I make my boiled peanuts in. So I like to use um, sometimes uh, Thai peppers. It'll give them a good kick of heat or maybe several red jalapeno peppers. And it really just infuses that brine and gets into the peanuts and it's just delicious. And one of my go-to comfort dishes is doing a Thai red curry. and. I'll just be creative. Sometimes I'll just clean out the produce drawer in my refrigerator and start throwing things in that curry. So sometimes, um, of course, I'll pull out peppers out of the freezer, throw them in there, along with whatever I have, maybe some broccoli and carrots. I always try to have that in my produce drawer and make my coconut milk sauce with some, uh, maybe some salmon. Just delicious. And then another southern favorite is pimento cheese. I'll roast up those pimento peppers and put those in the cheese dip. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious when you have your fresh roasted peppers. I love Asian food, as most of you know, and so this is just some Kung Pao chicken. I grew some peppers that were specifically used for this dish, and so it's always fun to take that into the kitchen and try to make something authentic. And then a super easy thing to make with jalapeno peppers using Jiffy Mix uh, or just some corn muffins and so I'll just throw some of those jalapeno peppers in there with some cheese and scallions yum these are great uh, just to side with some stew or anything like that and then a really old video I used to make these jalapeno poppers a long time ago and those are of course always good probably not the most healthy thing you can eat but certainly delicious so I'll fry those up with some breadcrumbs and that breading doesn't always stay on there but it does give those little poppers a bit of that crunch that you really want when you're having the jalapeno poppers and just so good and then with some of my green bell peppers I don't use those as much as I do reds but I like to throw those in meatloaf so I will throw a big handful of those in some meatloaf I know a lot of times recipes don't call for it but I do that's what I like to put in my meatloaf and then of course just some baked beans love this in the summertime when I have a lot of those green bell peppers I'll put those in some baked beans in bake them in my oven in a cast iron skillet great to go with barbecue in the summer so there you go that give you some ideas of different ways i love to use my peppers from the garden and for those of you who have watched this entire video i just want to give you one reminder make sure you're checking your frost date and your square foot garden book and starting those peppers long before you start your tomatoes. I think when I was a new gardener, I started my tomatoes and peppers together, but you really needed a little bit of extra time for those peppers. So get them started early, get them in the garden, get them growing, and enjoy. So thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.